The name Lagoon of Islands referred to the fact that as you looked out across this lagoon, dotted across the surface of it, there were islands in various stages of formation. Nowhere in the world is there anything which came remotely near a lake which had a bed of floating reeds. And on that bed, these islands were gradually built up. The biggest islands uh, even had small eucalypt trees growing on them. The plants which made up those islands, some of them grew only in Tasmania, not even on the mainland. So I think the credentials for uniqueness were absolutely impeccable. It was clear that if the water level was raised to the extent that was forecast, then there had to be some pretty gross ecological changes. It was quite obvious that it was going to be destroyed. The water level submerged the Bomia reeds to such, to such a depth that they could no longer survive. So the reed map died and then the islands sank deeper and deeper. They became waterlogged and they died. It was a mistake and in hindsight, it would be nice if we didn't do it. The environmental values in the lake weren't properly recognised by the hydro. Professor Tyler was pretty much a lone voice in, in uh, explaining what those values were. He's a world expert on lakes and it's very good to be able to work with him. And I think he's been very pleased to be involved in fixing this problem that we created way back in the 60s. Good day, Kaz. Hello, Peter, how are you? I'm well and hope you are too. Oh, it's good ah. to see you. And to see you, but where's the water? Well, it's been a dry summer, Peter. Caroline's been a key player in the whole thing, in fact. She set up a scientific panel to advise us, coordinated basically all the, the science around the project. Her PhD was on the Lagoon of Islands. Uh, Peter Tyler was a supervisor, yeah. To be able to learn your craft after one of the best guys, not only in Australia, but anywhere in the world, was just an absolute privilege. When I started at Lagoon of Islands, it was a decade ago, and at that stage, Lagoon of Islands had poor water quality. Just as I finished my PhD was when we hit the drought from about 2006 to 2008 or so. Where the water quality had been poor during my PhD, it then became absolutely abysmal. Everything that was in here concentrated and fed on itself, and then we were trying to release that water downstream for irrigation water. The way the water's been has been disgraceful. It's been uh, full of all algae and undrinkable. Uh, you go to have a shower, well, you might as well roll around out in the road, you'd be cleaner. Lagoon of Islands had become untenable as a, as a water supply. The water quality was just too poor. We clearly had no other option. The dam at Lagoon of Islands was commissioned in 1964. We pulled the dam down in April last year, which was 49 years after it's built. And so it's a very significant occasion that Hydro Tasmania now is decommissioning the dam and trying to restore the, the damage that erecting the dam has caused. We had to dewater the lake. And when we drained the lake, we took extra steps because uh, some of the people immediately downstream were using water from the lake still. We put uh, water supply tanks in for a few, few people. The dam itself, relatively simple process. Pretty much an earth moving sort of exercise, concrete breaking exercise. Yeah, not natural behaviour for a hydro engineer to pull a dam down. We have only done direct rehabilitation works, direct seeding and planting where the dam wall has been removed from. For the rest of the lagoon, the advice we had from the scientific panel was to see what comes back by itself. Some of our early guesses were wrong. I thought, for example, that the water quality would take five, between five and ten years to start showing any improvement. We've seen initial indications of improvement from the very first reading we took. If it doesn't come to what we would like, in other words, restoration of the original system, if it comes to an acceptable, different lagoon with good vegetation, good water, that's the, that's the bonus. It's the next best thing. It's, it's a consolation prize. For the first time since I've been coming up here, which is a decade now, Lagoon of Islands is on the path to being a sustainably healthy ecosystem. It's a very bold experiment, and I think they're to be highly commended for taking the plunge. As long as we end up with an ecosystem that is healthy, has good water quality, has a good, diverse, healthy vegetation community and supports a rich fauna on top of that, 
I think this project will be successful.